Welcome to another episode of Little Planet 360 and today we're in sunny India where we're going to be testing the dive case. Uh, now I received this a couple of days ago. Uh, I haven't got anywhere exciting to use it but what we can do is actually test the ability under the pool. Uh, what I plan to do is watch the Aquaman trailer or part of the Aquaman trailer under the pool uh, to see how good a quality you can still make out on the video, on the phone. Uh, I don't believe this has been done anywhere else in the world, so this is going to be the first viewing of Aquaman underwater in 360. Let's see how it gets on. Oh well. That wasn't a complete epic foul. You could not see any video, but over the last two or three days, I have learned some interesting tips uh, with the dive case. Uh, number one, if you're gonna be swimming or snorkeling and you wanna capture footage of yourself, you know, as you swim through the uh, ocean or the sea, uh, you're better off putting your dive case on one of these like tripod eye sockets so you can get it at a right angle then you can have the lens literally facing you as you swim uh, it reduces the stitching or the base that you see in all the shots uh, it also by having one of these you can then loosen the screw and make it flat anyway so you've got both choices you can have it either parallel or vertical parallel or vertical number two is you you really can't see the screen when you use this dive case. Uh, I know you've got the two buttons here, uh, but if you're gonna try and select menus or do anything, you, you, it's not gonna happen, not in bright light. I couldn't see it at all. Uh, so make sure you set the camera to quick capture. Okay, set it to quick capture, set it to the frame rate you want. Just hit the, the uh, shutter button and you can clearly see the blue LED light come on to say it's on. And you can also see the green light flashing to know it's recording. And then likewise, when you hit the shutter button again, it will switch off. Okay, don't expect to be able to control the menus from this dive case when you're out and about. Uh, you really have to rely on quick capture. Okay, and my third tip is set the frame rate to 3K 100 frames because when you're under the water, especially if you're snorkeling, so you've not got a scuba mask on, you, you can't like go under for short amounts of time and actually what you capture is quite quick. Uh, you know, something could swim past you quite rapidly and you will miss the shot. So in them situations, you're going to want to slow it down. You're gonna to wanna to slow it down in slow motion. So you might be gonna drop it down to 25 frames per second. If you're filming 3K 100, you're naturally gonna get that buttery smooth slow-mo under the water. Uh, and I'll share a clip at the end of me swimming in the pool at that frame rate. Finally, this is not a tip, but before you use this, just make sure you test it uh, in a you know, bath or a wash basin, you know, fill it up with water, put the case without the camera in it in there, just to make sure there is no leaks. So, you know, put some toilet paper in there so you know it's definitely not leaking. Don't wait until you get on holiday, put your camera in there and ruin it, okay? Uh, other than that, until next week, bye.